Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Vloggers Up. So, in this video, we are going to learn the basics of a 3 into 3 Rubik's Cube and how to solve the first layer. So, without any further ado, let's get started. The mechanism of the Rubik's Cube. The Rubik's Cube is a 26 piece puzzle and there are three types of pieces. Corner piece. It has three different colors on it and there are eight corner pieces in the Rubik's Cube. Edge pieces. It has two different colors on it and there are 12 edge pieces in the Rubik's Cube. Center piece. It has one color on it and there are six center pieces located in the center of each side. Important that the center pieces are part of the core and the core is the inside of the Rubik's Cube which holds all the pieces together. Since the center pieces cannot move relative to each other for that reason they are already solved. So there are only 20 pieces to solve out of 26. Rubik's Cube Move Notations Move notations are made to convey a sequence of moves through writing. When describing the solution, we will use the following move notations. Here is how it works. Every face is given a letter. F means the front face. B means the back face. R means the right face. And L means the left face. T means the top face. And D means the down face. When you move the cube, all the sides get changed. So make sure that you hold the cube properly. The latter means turning that face 90 degree clockwise once and a letter followed by I means that you should rotate that side clockwise and declockwise. So here is how it works. F, F, I, B, I, R, I, L, I, T, I and D, I. A letter followed by a number indicates how many times you should be to rotate that side. For example, R2 means you need to rotate the right side two times and clockwise. One and two. For example, executing F, R, I and U2 in a row. A sequence of moves is called an algorithm. Solving the Rubik's Cube is made piece by piece just like any other puzzle. Therefore, the solution is divided into steps, each of which solves the number of pieces without destroying the ones completed on previous steps. So, let's start. Step 1. Solving the edge pieces of the top layer. In this step, we have four pieces to solve. First, choose a color to begin with. I chose white in this guy. Besides, it is the best to start with the white color as they are the easiest colors for quick recognition which is important for speed solving. Since the center pieces cannot be moved to each other, it's important to solve the edge pieces correctly. Remember, bring the white edge pieces to the white center and not the white center to the edge pieces. In, there are no particular steps for the top layer since the pieces are scattered around in the cube. So, first you need to find the edge pieces with white color. So, here I have found one edge piece of white and blue. So, the blue center piece is not matched with its edge piece. So, first we will make sure that both are matched. So, we will move the down parts towards the left side. Then, make the edge piece match its blue center piece. And then, match the white edge piece with the white center piece. So, here the edge piece of blue and white is matched is on its perfect place as the white side is on its white centerpiece side and blue side is on its blue centerpiece side. Similarly, do for all the other edge pieces. So, here our white cross is completed. 
So we'll move on to our second step. Step 2. Solving the corner pieces of the top layer. In this step, we will solve the four corner pieces of the top layer. Pay attention, the corner pieces has to match not only the white color on it, but also the colors to the left and the right. Inserting a corner piece to its solved position is done this way. First, find an unsolved corner piece having white in it and then match the other color with its centerpiece. So here the other color is red. So I've matched it with its centerpiece. And an easy way to remember this step is that imagine this corner piece is a man and this is a lift. So the man is called the lift and if we bring the lift down, the man will be squished. So keep the man aside, bring the lift down, keep the man in the lift and move the lift upward. So this is the easiest way to remember this step. If the white corner piece is located on the top layer but in the wrong place or incorrectly oriented in its place, just insert a non-white corner there and by that the white corner piece will go back to the bottom layer then solve it correctly. So follow the st same steps to do. Now the white piece has gone down and if a corner piece with white color side is facing downwards then you should bring that side in your front face as you will not be able to solve it while it's facing down. So first bring the unsolved corner piece under a corner piece which is not solved. Then bring the right side downwards. Then move the corner piece aside and then again put the right side back to its place. So the edge piece is also not disturbed and our corner piece is also facing the front side. So match the center piece, bring the lift down, put the man in it and now it is solved. Do the same for all the corner pieces. So this is how to solve the top layer of a 3x3 Rubik's cube. I hope that you have been able to solve the top layer of the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I post the new video for solving the second layer of the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. And if any query is solving the top layer, comment down below, I will reply to it. Thank you for watching my video.